Hi everyone, it's Elsie here. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I have a mini album to share with you today. Um, I feel like I haven't done a mini album in ages, but yes, uh, I had a lot of fun making this little album using the April 2020 kits. And you can see a few shots of this album and you might be able to tell it's made entirely out of envelopes. Um, this It was so easy and simple to put together this album. Um, and it's just so bright, colourful, and yeah, it was just, I had a really great time putting this together. <laughs> so, to make my envelopes, I'm using pattern papers, and I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Um, but if you don't have a punch board, that's fine. Um, if you have a die cutting machine, you could obviously use that. But also, um, I know there are like loads of envelope templates online, so you can um, download one of those and just trace and cut your envelopes out pattern papers. Or you could even use just regular old greeting card envelopes. Um, like, you know, you can get like packs of like 20, 50 of them for like super cheaply. Um, you could even create um, your album out of those and just decorate them with pattern papers. So. Yeah, hopefully you find this album um, easy to recreate yourself um, with whatever tools and supplies that you have on hand. So I'm now putting together the envelopes um, and I'm just making sure all the sort of fold lines are really um, creased down really well. It just, it makes the um, sort of mechanism of the whole album um, work a lot better. So, um, yeah, I, um, yeah, I'd also make sure that the top flap, like the open bit of the envelope, you score that back as well, as you can see what I just did there, um, because that's going to be like the hinge of each page. So you're going to want to actually fold that backwards. So just make sure everything's, uh, scored and creased really nicely. So to assemble the album, it's super simple. Um, I'm playing around with tassels because I can't focus on one thing at once apparently. Um, so yeah, I decided to use this Maggie Home Sweet Story pattern paper as the, um, as the cover. So you've got to make sure that the first envelope you use to create the album is the one that will be the cover. So yeah, just make sure it's a pattern that you like. And as you can see, it's so simple to put them together. So. What you want to do is take the um, envelopes that you want next to each other in the album and make sure that the same side is facing each other. So the sides where um, the envelope opening is, you want them sort of facing towards each other. As you can see what I'm doing here. And then you're gonna want to take that um, open bit of the envelope and slot that into the um, other envelope um, and put some adhesive down on that bit and fold it backwards and you've got your first page of your mini album and you're just going to carry that on for however many pages that you'd like. I think I ended up going a bit crazy on this. I think I ended up with like 14 or something envelopes in this album. It's, you know, it's a good old chunky little thing. Um, but yeah, I just, I couldn't stop. I was just having too much fun and the papers were so pretty and you know, I just have that too much gene. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's it's a really quick, easy album to put together. You know, there's not a lot of measuring um, <laughs> or assembly really required. Um, there's not many steps. So um, I really like it for the fact that it's just so like easy. <laughs> um, and it's just like one of those like really like, wow, how did you make it projects when it's like, oh, if only you knew how easy it was, but it's, you know, <laughs> um, although, this envelope would not blooming go in. Um, so I just kind of had to just carefully shove it in. Um, and that happened a few times, but yeah, everything worked out pretty well. So for the final envelope, you're gonna wanna make sure that the pattern that you want is the, um, it, you know, you'll see it from the outside, it will be the back of the album. So uh, yeah, just make sure that it's a pattern that you want on the outside. I cho just chose the reverse side of that black and white pattern. Um, yeah, black and white pink is like my sweet spot. So um, to, as you can see, once the album's kind of assembled like this, it just kind of flies open. So you're gonna need to bind it all together 
and to do that you just use that envelope flap on um, from the first uh, envelope that you um, used for the album and you're just going to want to score um, sort of along that flap but make sure it's like the width of the album so obviously that will depend on how big you make your album um, I think I did mine wrong the first time so I just kind of did it again um, but yeah you're going to want to make sure that folds really nicely and yeah sorry I'm off camera honestly so many camera problems this day um, but anyway uh, so yeah just make sure it's scored really well and uh, you adhere that down and you've got to make sure that you don't put any adhesive on um, you know like the spine so um, just make sure you do it along the edge of that envelope um, and yeah that will keep everything all together and here's your little book so yeah super cute so much pattern so much color um, I made sure that I had sort of contrasting patterns um, next to each other just to create a really sort of fun sort of whimsical little album um, and yeah I had to kind of figure out how to tie it all together um, and in the end I decided to use this ribbon that we got I think it was in either the September or October kits from last year um, but yeah it's just been in my hip kit um, storage box <laughs> um, uh, until I sort of um, so I could use the rest of it on another layout or project and yeah today was the day <laughs> so yeah just use some really clear um, strong tape to adhere those onto the inside pages of the album and then just tie it up with a bow it's really simple so I obviously had to add one of these gorgeous pom-pom tassels um, they're from the Paige Evans Bloom Street collection and I think they came in the pocket life kit um, so to do that I'm literally just adhering the tiniest bit of tape on the inside of one of like the middle pages of the album and yeah I'm just holding that in place like that and it, it holds up really well so as you can see this is my finished album and it is yeah it's chunky but I absolutely love a chunky mini album I think there's something so sort of inviting about it so um, I love mini albums like this because sort of all the sort of, um, pocket life cards or the die cuts that I wouldn't really use on a layout I use in mini albums so especially like um, the sort of the crepe paper Maggie Holmes ephemera because a lot of it is like quite big and chunky um, it's like journaling cards and things like that um, I just use them in uh, this album and yeah so much there's so much pattern and so much colour um, just makes me so so happy um, so yeah I did also use even use some chipboard um, from the yeah the Maggie Holmes collection again um, but I just made sure that whenever I use chipboard I took basically all the chipboard layers off of the back of it um, so I created like a lot of so like the embellishment was a lot flatter um, and you wouldn't have all that um, sort of bulk taking up the album. Um, as you can see this is super interactive um, I think because of the envelope pockets but also um, I just love creating like little hinges and sort of hidden little, little areas like this little shaker um, pocket that I just made out some acetate and some sequins from my stash. Uh, it's just so pretty. Um, yeah. I just absolutely love this album so um, yeah I can't wait to fill it up with loads of gorgeous sort of summer memories when um, I think hopefully we'll be able to get out and about soon um, yeah so I hope you're all keeping well um, I know this is a very very weird time so I hope you're finding lots of time to sort of scrap and take your mind off things I know this album really helped me do that so yeah I hope that uh, you're inspired to create your own little envelope album and I'll leave links to the hip kit below if you have any questions I'll be in the comments and I can answer them so yeah thank you for watching stay safe everyone and I shall see you in the next video bye everyone